hey you guys welcome back to my channel this is your girl IJ if this is your first time being here I'm happy that you're here to watch this video my name is IJ and I'm pleased to meet you and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much coming back to another video so this is a cook and clean with me video we're just going to do a quick dinner nothing fancy nothing too crazy just something you know very easy and you know how you're done and then right after that we're going to do some cleaning so let's jump right into this video on this day i had just returned from work and i wanted to eat barbecue ribs so bad so i decided to get myself in that so i'm just prepping the vegetables right now i used the vegetables the frozen vegetables in, in bags or in a bag that was what i used and i decided to add some carrots to it so it's just carrots bro broccoli and um mushroom What's the name of the white one? I can't remember the name of the white one. Then I also added some mushrooms. I love mushrooms and um, you know, when you like something, you just want to eat it. Then the leftover mushrooms, I decided to put them in a bag. This reusable bags, I picked them up from TJ Maxx. You can get it from TJ Maxx, Marshalls or Home Goods. I love these bags because you can use them a thousand times. You can put them in the fridge, you can put them in the freezer like it's just so um, versatile so I love the bags so very much and when you organize them well in your fridge it just gives your fridge a good nice organization look so I just really love them so at this point I'm just going to cut up the, um, the mushrooms add it to the vegetable I also added some sweet potatoes to it which I didn't show in here once that was done i decided to prep the barbecue ribs i'm doing i'm just going to cut it in you know pieces and i used two flaps of barbecue then it was time to season up the thing that is my green my green spices we call it green spices but i don't know how you guys want to call it but it's just a combination of celery um parsley ginger garlic that we all we grind together if you are interested in seeing how I do that green spices concoction, let me know and I'll do a video separately. Then I'm also going to use paprika. I love to use paprika because it gives it that nice red color. And um, I also added some salt just to sweeten the thing. Then I also added some um, bouillon. I use the tomato type. I also added this Old Bay seasoning. It says poetry and some other stuff on it. I love the smell of the spice, so that's why I'm using it all seasoning. So that's the bouillon tomato type that I'm using. That too gives the that also gives the barbecue a nice red um, color. So I use two spoons of that. Then my favorite. Um, soya spice those who are from Africa we know what we mean by soya spice you can't get them from anywhere but from Cameroon or from any other African country that knows soya spice or you can get it from the African store then I also added some black pepper and some chicken spice I love chicken spice I love the smell of this particular one so once I had everything in there I just went ahead I put on some gloves and I mixed up everything so the thing was nicely the spice was nicely um, um, sprayed on each barbecue piece so I'm just going to close it up right now with the foil paper then I'm going to shove it in the oven so I set my oven at 400 the temperature is at 400 and I set it for one hour barbecue 400 one hour then I'm also going to now prep the vegetable. All I used on the vegetable was just black pepper and vegetable oil. Once you have that in there, all you need to do is just mix it. You put some um, cover it with the foil paper and you put it in the oven. You put your vegetables in the oven for at least 45 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes, and the temperature should be about 400 as well. So that was what I did. I just mix up that and cover it with some foil paper put it in the oven for 45 minutes I put it for 45 minutes because of the sweet potatoes it takes a little you know you need a little more heat it needs a little bit more more heat than the other vegetables so once that was done at about 45 minutes into the barbecue I brought it out and I removed the water that came out from it 
Once I took off the water, I put it back into the oven to complete the one hour that I had originally set on the timer. So that's me putting it back in the oven right now. And that's the barbecue right there. Tell me what do you think? Look at that nice gold color. See my husband, he's already ready to eat. Like hell, like ooh, the boy can't we can't wait. So there we go with the barbecue and the vegetable, everything like it was like perfect. It was just ugh. guys, if you try this right, you tell me thank you later. So try it and let me know what you guys think. When we do something like this, this does not last at all. By the next by the next day, it's done, completely done. There you go. That is the final product. Let me know what your thoughts are about the setup right here. And it's very healthy. No caps, no whatever story. But anyway, let's go. So I decided to jump in and I devoured the whole thing. I had about three pieces of barbecue and the vegetable. Then I had some the naked juice. I love that juice so much. So that's me eating right now. Once I was done eating, it was time to clean. So let's jump right into the cleaning part. If you have any dishes in the sink, I need you to get them right now and let's clean together. If you have to do laundry, whatever you have to do, just get up and let's do this thing together. So I decided to start using my dishwasher because I realized that using your dishwasher, you actually save more on water than just washing the dishes on the running water. Trust me, guys. Try it and let me know and check your water bill at the end of the month and tell me if that actually works. It works like crazy. So like the dishes, cups, plates, and spoons, all those little stuff, I just put them all in the dish washer during the day, throughout the day. Whatever we use throughout the day, I put them all in the dishwasher. Then at night, when we're about, when we are about to go to bed, we just run it. So by the time you get up in the morning, everything is all washed and clean and dry. So all you need to do is to put it away. Guys, this is the best way to keep your sink clean. Now, the bigger stuff that can't really fit in there, or maybe that's just going to take too much space in the dishwasher, I wash them, you know, manually. So I'm washing my pots and, you know, all the other things that I, I had in the sink. So you can see me scrubbing this part right there. The under part of it was like kind of looking black already. And I wanted it to look as clean as possible. So in order for me to wash the bottom part to make it look, you know, shiny like new, I use the Ajax, um, the Ajax powder. Guys, if you haven't tried this thing and you have silverware in your house, try it. You will, you can wash your pots and decide it, and you decide to resell it. Like your pots will look clean, clean. Try it and let me know. So that's me just scrubbing it right now. I'm just going to rinse it off and show you guys how it looks like. You will see. Look at that. Look at that part. Look at the under leg. You can use that as a mirror even. Oh my goodness. Just see that. So yeah. So that was what I used. And um, when I see that, it makes me so happy. I won't lie to you guys. I love when things, you know, maintain their original color and their original paint. So I'm just going to wash all this few stuff I have in here. Once I'm done, I'm just going to wipe them off and put them where they're supposed to be. Our advice, try as much as possible not to have things all over the place before you go to bed. When you get up on bed, you don't want to be thinking about dishes in the sink or cleaning the house. When you go to bed with your house clean, you get up with a clean slate. Honestly, guys, it works like magic. So if you're one of those who have been trying to have your house clean, try to do it in the evening before you go to bed and you will love it. Trust me, you will love it. Then you can get up in the morning and take a little time for yourself. You can maybe put in some makeup, do some little skincare. You don't have to get up and you're running down to go wash dishes and all of that. Like just doing it at night helps so much. So I'm just putting up the leftover food in the fridge. Let me just chip in something in here. When I see some people's refrigerator on social media, I ask myself, do these people cook at all or... I don't know, maybe I'm missing something. Am I the only one who still cooks and put in the fridge? I don't know, because when I see some people's fridges, I see just soda, fruits, 
drinks. Uh, I'm like, so where is the food? I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something. You guys tell me. Let me know. So once I put the food in the fridge, now I decided to start cleaning. So I'm using my Myers All Purpose Cleaner. If you haven't tried this stuff, hmm, I don't know what you're thinking. I don't know what you're doing. Go and try it. I normally pick up this from TJ Maxx, Marshalls, or Home Goods. They have it at a very cheaper price. So I think it's two dollars or three dollars or something. So if you if you're interested, go and try it. This thing leaves your house smelling amazing. Like I just love the smell of it. Every time I use it, I'm like, oof, a breath of fresh air. That is it. So um, I decided to change the vase, the flower vase on the island. I was just tired of seeing that clear vase, so I was like, okay, let me just switch it up. So I used the same flowers, nothing fancy, nothing too crazy. I just put the flowers and I just fix it up and, you know, put it back where it belongs. That's what I'm doing right now. And that is my flower vase. What do you guys think? I know you can't really see the flowers so much because it's white and the light, you know, hey, so... Anyway, that is it right there. I'm just going to put it back where it belongs and that's good. All right, so another drifting to another side. It's me cleaning the refrigerator. Guys, if you have a silverware in your house, no, you have to be cleaning. You have to clean every day. And if you have kids, that's another addition because your fingers, it will be all over the silverware. So just be prepared to clean so now i am using this microwave steam cleaner i saw this thing on tiktok and i decided to go to amazon and buy who sent me i don't even know so all you need to do is to put some vinegar in there put it in your microwave for five minutes and it's going to you know clean up your microwave such that it removes every stain every dirt all you need to do is to get a cloth and just wipe it. I thought this thing was just going to clean and wipe at the same time. I didn't know I had to wipe it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But like it does help. Like this, the steam helps to loosen all the gunk and dirt in the microwave. That's in there. My microwave wasn't that clean, so I didn't really see much of the effect of it. But if you have a very dirty microwave, if you want to try it and let us know what you think about it but i could definitely see the steam all over the microwave and it was easy to clean like i didn't need to wet the cloth or maybe apply some soap i didn't need to do all of that so yes that works so if you're interested it's called microwave steam cleaner so i'm using my women glass cooktop cleaner and i'm sure you guys have seen me use this a million times so I'm just using that um, to clean my cookware. If you're one of those who is still struggling to clean and keep things as neat as possible, I advise that when you finish cooking, just clean your cooker at once. It makes things ready. You yourself, you will appreciate it. You see the beauty of things. You see how nice and neat everything looks. Like you are happy. You, it will make you happy. So try that once you're done cooking, just make sure you clean the stove at once and you're done with it. Now I'm just cleaning the sink and uh, yeah, I'm just scrubbing it down. Scrub, 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 scrub. When you're about to go to bed and your sink is free from dishes, you get up with one less thing on your mind. Trust me, one less thing on your mind. And ladies will already have just more than enough to think about than thinking about dishes in the sink. The kids, our husbands and jobs and whatever story we have on our mind. So just having one less thing to think about will make your day go best. All right, so after going through all of that, here we go with the final look. I hope you guys love it. I hope you guys appreciate it. Like you can see how things are in the right position and it's not looking all messy and untidy. Once you do that, you will feel good, guys. You get up from bed, you get up to your own home, you see, you feel and breathe the breath of fresh air. Try this and let me know. Just clean your house before you go to bed and get up in the morning and see how you feel. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will talk to you in my next one. Bye, guys.